Manufacturing parts for cars is big business in Mexico. This company, Arbomex, says it's one of the world's top three makers of camshafts, a precision component that engines need to work. That makes them a key part of the automotive supply chain that has been one of the biggest beneficiaries of the North American Free Trade Agreement. President Donald Trump's threats to rewrite or even scrap NAFTA caused some investors to hit the brakes in Mexico. But business leaders like Mario Rodriguez, the chief executive of Arbomex, are now increasingly daring to hope catastrophe will be averted. Hemos hecho una inversión en, en, uh, recientemente con la elección del señor Trump. Tomamos la decisión de hacer una inversión de duplicar nuestra capacidad de fundición porque confiamos en que vamos a salir fortalecidos de esta negociación del Tratado de Libre Comercio. Arbomex was founded in 1977 when Mexico's economy was highly closed and its industry protected. When NAFTA was born in 1994, neither the company nor the country was ready to compete. Fast forward 23 years and integrated supply chains between the three NAFTA countries, the US, Canada and Mexico, mean manufacturing is done where it is most efficient. These are camshafts for Chrysler pickups. Some of them are made in Michigan and brought here to this plant for finishing. Others are made in Mexico. They're then taken to a plant and put in the engines, exported to Detroit for the assembly into the pickups, and some are imported back to Mexico as final vehicles. Arbomex makes more than 90% of Chrysler camshafts at a cost 30% less than in the US. Celaya in the state of Guanajuato, where Arbomex is based, is in the heart of a sophisticated manufacturing belt stretching through central Mexico. Millions of jobs and investment dollars will be at risk if the free trade pact collapses. Entonces, el tono creo que ha sido un poco más conciliador, eh, donde creo que puede estar la parte más delicada de esto es los tiempos. En general, a uh, un condenado a muerte prefiere saber que esto se va a cumplir X día que vivir en la incertidumbre. Uh, pero también es cierto que alguien que tiene una enfermedad fuerte prefería que no haya fecha terminal. Businessmen are not the only ones afraid of Mr. Trump's America First agenda. Mr. Trump's branding of Mexicans as criminals, his apparent determination to build a border wall, and his threats to deport millions of undocumented immigrants are a huge worry for many. Jorge Barroso initially went to America to complete his theology studies. After abandoning plans to be a priest, he studied political science, focusing on migrants and remittances sent home by Mexicans in the US. Remittances were worth a record 27 billion last year. With his savings and help from a government program for migrants, he set up Migrantex, one of just three companies in Mexico that makes latex foam for another big local industry, footwear. He has teamed up with two other firms in León, near Celaya, supplying materials for the shoe industry and wants to expand to at least three factories in the next three years, offering jobs to deportees or returning migrants. Pero nos interesa mucho apoyar en esos momentos difíciles a los migrantes que quizás tengan la desfortuna de ser deportados. Cuando uno está en otro país, uh, uno tiene acceso a nuevas ideas, nuevos valores y sobre todo uno se hace más disciplinado. Andrés Navarro helps out in his father's tire repair shop, but dreams of a life in the US. Estudio ahorita en ingeniería en robótica y pues ahorita lo que sí quisiera es de trabajar y poder llegar a Estados Unidos a, tra a trabajar allá, por pues, digamos pues para una mejor calidad de vida. Pero así como están poniendo las cosas, no sé si ya sea más complicado, sea más fácil. Mr. Trump may have turned down his rhetoric on Mexico lately, but he remains unpredictable. Vamos a esperar que pasen los primeros 100 días de la presidencia de Trump para saber qué realmente va a alcanzar a hacer y creo que ya vimos hasta dónde va a llegar y, y creo que sus, uh, los que votaron por él van a quedar muy decepcionados. Back at Arbomex, executives are already planning for another threat, mass use of electric cars that will make camshafts obsolete. But for now, the parts keep rolling off the production lines, helping to drive the North American engine of growth. Jude Weber, Financial Times in the state of Guanajuato, Mexico.